everybody. We're back with the author of Mike Nichols, A Life, Mark Harris. T to try to drive home what a wunderkind he was, quite literally a wunderkind, because he, he was a child in Germany before the war, um, this is his first movie, is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? That's what he comes out of the gate with. And then he follows it up with a little thing called The Graduate. How, what, what drove him? Why was, do you have some theory as to why he was so prolific or why he was always creating? I think one really interesting thing about Mike is that directing wasn't his first choice for a career. Through his 20s, he was a performer. And then uh, his partnership with Elaine May ended and he really didn't know what he was going to do with his life. And he always said that the minute he stepped into the rehearsal room for his first play and the minute he stepped onto the set of a movie for the first time, he knew that directing was what he wanted to do. And so in some ways, he didn't feel like he had a minute to lose after making that discovery. There are so many things to choose from, but for people out there who m might not be familiar with his work, what's your introduction? What would you recommend as an introduction to Mike Nichols? Well, I'd say if you've never seen a Mike Nichols movie, start with The Graduate. I mean, that's a fantastic, funny, fascinating, moving movie. No matter what period of your life you're in, whether, whether you're the same age as the young protagonist or as Mrs. Robinson. If you have seen The Graduate, um, I think there are all kinds of other doors from uh, Silkwood to uh, Angels in America. Uh, I'll, I'll give a plug for the home team to... Um, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And also that album that, that you showed. I mean, uh, An Evening with Mike Nichols and Elaine May, you get a fantastic sense of what they were like as a comedy duo, and it's still really funny. Um, Mike Nichols uh, made a, a joke that his biography, if he could name it, it should be called The Wrong Jew. Can you explain <laughs> what that means? Mike, uh, late in his life, was originally cast in what turned out to be uh, a crucial episode of The Sopranos. Um, he was going to play the psychiatrist who Carmela goes to to complain about uh, Tony and her marriage. And, and the psychiatrist is kind of this old-style Talmudic, you know, Old Testament guy who says, your husband's a criminal, and if you stay with him, you're complicit, uh, leave him and take the kids. Uh, and Mike did about a day of work on it and then told David Chase, you've got the wrong Jew. Like, I'm, I'm not the right kind of Jew for this part. And uh, someone else played it. Well, Mike Nichols, A Life is available now. Mark Harris, everybody. Thanks, Mark. We'll be right Thank back. You so